Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Making Your Communities Count 100 Days Out from Census 2010 Conference. As a reminder, all lines are on listen-only mode, and there will be time for questions and answers. If you need technical assistance at any time, please press star zero to speak to an operator. I will now turn the call over to Catherine Hahn Montoyer, Senior Program Manager of the Leadership Conference on Civil Rights and Education Fund, so that we may begin. Please go ahead. Great, thanks, Matt. Um, and for folks on the phone, um, we're going to be able to open up the lines for Q&A throughout this um, call. So um, please make sure that you jot down any questions you might have so that we can answer them uh, throughout the agenda. Everyone's going to be on mute for a little bit, but we'll go back and forth as we move through this presentation. I want to thank everybody for taking the time to be on the call with us today. We know it's a Friday afternoon here on the East Coast, so we really appreciate um, everyone taking um, a few minutes of their Friday to talk about the census. So as you know, um, the census is uh, about four or five months away, um, April 1st being kind of our deadline for census activities. Um, today's call is really focused on how we can leverage um, a really in, uh, unique opportunity uh, during this holiday season to generate um, more publicity and awareness around the census. And as you know, December 22nd marks uh, 100 days um, uh, until the census. And so we want to be able to leverage um, those types of activities around this week. So for those of you who don't know, um, the leadership conference is, uh, I'm trying to keep our slides up. I hope folks are able to get on the web uh, conference, uh, the webinar component so that we can, um, so you can see, uh, see the PowerPoint presentation along with hearing us. But as you know, the leadership conference's campaign is focused on three things, uh, research and policy development, as well as, uh, I would say, mostly a communications and grassroots uh, campaign focused around increasing the uh, participation of communities of color, as well as hard to count population in the upcoming census. Um, our goal is to make sure that the civil rights focus of the census is uh, right up there with every other message that is, um, that is out from the Bureau. Um, you also know that we are working in 13 cities across the country, and uh, by being on this call, you're probably from one of those 13 cities that's listed there on your left-hand um, column. Um, we're doing a series of activities in each of those 13 cities, ranging from trainings to outreach activities to um, assistance forums and, of course, to a very uh, multi-pronged communications and media um, uh, strategy as well. Just waiting for the next slide to load. Great. So as I mentioned, December 22nd marks 100 days out from Census Day. Uh, we want to be able to leverage this opportunity uh, to encourage faith leaders to organize activities around that week of December 20th and the 22nd to highlight participation, up to, uh, encourage participation uh, for the upcoming census. There's going to be, um, there's a lot of great opportunities to link census to uh, the Christmas story and to the Christian holiday. Now, I want to let everyone know on this call that we understand that this activity is focused on the Christian faith and uh, Christian Christmas story, but there's going to be many opportunities between now and April 1st to be able to integrate a much more comprehensive faith strategy, which we're currently working with a variety of faith leaders to develop. Um, but because the story of uh, the Christmas story and the Christian story of Mary and Joseph going to Bethlehem to participate in the census is uh, such a great opportunity, we wanted to be able to uh, leverage that and highlight that this December. So by, by no means is this our only component of our overall faith work uh, around census. This is one component of that, and we will be looking for other and working with others to incorporate census in other communities of faith as well. Um, on today's call, we're going to um, – next slide, please. Oh, so um, we want to open it up for any questions folks might have uh, about, the, about the few slides that we've seen to, thus far. So, operator, if, uh, if there are any questions, if you uh, 
want to um, ask them, that would be great. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to ask a question, please press zero one on your telephone keypad, or you can type in a question to the web chat feature online. Once again, to ask a question, please press zero one on your telephone keypad, or you can type in a question to the chat feature online. Well, if there aren't any questions, um, operator, you'll let us know if there uh, become any if there are any questions in the uh, queue, um, and we'll definitely take pause to to answer those as well. Um, thanks, Matt. Um, so now we'd like to be able to highlight some of the work that um, our partners in the great state of Georgia are doing around this opportunity in December to do some faith, um, some Christian faith outreach specifically. Um, up first is a great ally and friend of the Leadership Conference on Civil Rights. Jerry Gonzalez is the Executive Director of the Georgia Association of Latino Elected Officials. They have been engaged in census and census outreach um, uh, before this campaign even got started. And so we're very happy to have uh, Jerry um, here and, uh, and to present on some of the best practices that Galeo is doing in Georgia. Jerry? Thank you, Kathy. Uh, we greatly appreciate the opportunity. Uh, we're very excited about uh, the work that we're doing. We are very excited about having a statewide Latino Complete Count Committee that is uh, really, uh, I guess, reaching about 90 organizations, government agencies, and individuals that are participating in our efforts. Our faith outreach effort is a significant portion of our work. Uh, we have done faith outreach to churches and to uh, leaders within the Latino evangelical movement to make sure that we include uh, as many people as possible on the message of uh, preparing and promoting uh, participation in the census. In particular, our efforts for the upcoming uh, December 22nd uh, action, uh, day of action for us. Uh, we are excited that it's gonna be 100 days out from the census, but also particularly excited with the uh, posters that have been developed uh, by our partners, Naleo, as well as LCCR, that uh, feature very prominently uh, a message in Spanish about uh, uh, Joseph and Mary going to Bethlehem to uh, participate in the census and reassuring the community that they participate in the census and so should they. Uh, we're very excited about that and uh, our faith community has had uh, great positive feedback associated with that in particular. So uh, we're, we're very excited to be a part of that. We're gonna make it a multi-ethnic, multi-racial uh, component here in Atlanta and uh, we're looking forward to uh, making sure that we can uh, promote the census as much as possible. During that week in particular, I believe that it's probably going to be a very slow news week, so uh, I think the opportunity is there for many groups to engage in this messaging around the faith, uh, particularly uh, around the holidays, the uh, Christian holidays, uh, Christmas and the messaging that this, this illuminates. Obviously, that's not the entirety of the outreach that we will be doing with regards to faith, but uh, that being Christmas time for those that are Christian, I think it, it is a message that definitely would resonate very strongly with many people. So uh, that, those are some of the things that we're doing associated with our faith outreach uh, at, during that time, and, uh, and we're looking forward to uh, engaging with uh, more community members from across the state. Great. Thanks, Jerry. We really appreciate that. Uh, one of the things that we wanted to highlight, and if you're on the webinar, you can see the poster that uh, Jerry and Galeo, in um, collaboration with the Yazora campaign, is trying is, is being is uh, we've developed and are placing in Latino and Spanish language churches in Georgia. Now, this same poster has been, and we're going to get to that uh, later in uh, various languages. And we hope that folks will take the opportunity uh, to uh, to use these um, on this week of um, for this upcoming week of faith action. So, thank you, Jerry. Um, next up is. Um, is our friends at um, the Center for uh, Pan-Asian Community Services, or CPACs, also in Georgia. 
our good friend Farah is on the phone. Uh, CPACS uh, has been a partner with LCCR for several campaigns now, beginning with the transition from digital television, from analog TV to digital uh, TV, and now they're engaging on census outreach in a variety of ways uh, for a variety of Asian communities in the Georgia area. So, uh, Farah, if you're um, uh, on the line, uh, if you want to take it away about what CPACS is doing um, uh, to mark 100 days out. Okay. Well, um, right now, as diverse as the Asian community is, so is their religion. So, um, a lot of our um, communities, they are Hindu, Buddhist, and Christian. So, we um, secured a dozen, half a dozen um, Korean, Vietnamese, and Chinese churches that are on board um, having the posters in their on their bulletin boards or having the message about census and Mary and Joseph like within their bulletins. Um, from, but also we are doing um, our kickoff meetings. So um, the picture on the webinar is our Bhutanese uh, CCC um, kickoff meeting that we just had this past weekend. And um, they are having a Christmas program on the 12th tomorrow, and they're going to use that opportunity to highlight census um, at their event. And then the, um, the 19th, we are having the Laotian and Burmese Complete Count Committee kickoff meetings, um, and it is actually the New Year's for the Burmese, and they're going to use that time to mark the um, 100 days out um, at that event. And then um, CPAC has been really working with um, the census on different levels. Um, we've been helping them identify um, churches, temples, ethnic stores in the communities to um, make them QACs and BCCs, um, CPACs um, for DeKalb. Uh, we are a QAC BCC. And um, we also have our website, which is wecountgeorgia.org, and we're highlighting all of the efforts within um, the Asian communities. And Helen has been working extremely hard with me um, getting the website up and um, just making everybody know about our information. And um, to highlight some of the strategies that um, we've been working with, like with the Bhutanese, um, they form subcommittees based on faith, Hindu, Christian, and, Bhut and um, Buddhist, and then also by caste. Um, and they're, what they're doing is um, educating and training um, representatives from each caste system. So when when the census is coming out, they're going to mobilize within the different apartments, and um, that is how they're going to reach their community and ensuring that the surveys are going to be completed. Great. Thank you, Sarah. Mm -hmm. um, we're, all, we're waiting for our third, um, our, our third uh, speaker to um, access the webinar, so as we wait for Deborah to join us, um, we'd like to, Matt, if you could, if, there is any, if anyone has any questions about what you can do in your communities during this next week of safe action, uh, if you have any questions related to that, please feel free to um, ask those, and Matt will open up the um, question line for a, few, uh, for a little bit here. Sure. As a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, to ask a question, please press zero one on your telephone keypad or you can type in your question to the web chat feature. And we did have a question that came in on the web. The question was, is this whole conference about faith-based census strategies? Um, that's a great question. And this call today is focused on the new materials that the Leadership Conference and our national partners have developed for this faith outreach um, action uh, focused on December 20th through the 22nd. We'll get to the um, samples of materials that will be made available to groups, both via the Internet as well as ways that you can request um, uh, l uh, large posters uh, in your own offices here in a second. Um, but we're going to be having calls like this throughout the next four months to be able to highlight like different activities, different national actions that we want to be able to do throughout the country as we continue the drumbeat of census um, awareness and activity, both at the community level, but also uh, 
equally important in the media. Um, so this call is focused on faith action, but uh, I'll just do a quick quick plug for January. We'll probably have um, a similar call focused on how we can make Martin Luther King Day count this year by doing um, coordinated activities in January around King Day. So. Okay. And Any more questions, Matt? Yes, we have a question on the phone from James Finley. Please go ahead. Yes, I have a question. My question is, uh, uh, and I haven't heard anything about what's happening in the African American community, and uh, particularly as it relates to faith based. As you know, there are many, many, many uh, African American churches here and my and uh, and I haven't heard anything or have seen very much dealing with um, uh, uh, the African American community. James, that's a great question, and it's very timely because we, uh, our next speaker is uh, with the Atlanta Urban League, and we'll be talking specifically about what they're doing to engage the African American community in this uh, in this action as well. So, if you want to uh, uh, wait one second, I'm sure Deborah, who's with the Atlanta Urban League, will answer some of your questions or give an example as to what we can do uh, or what folks can do locally uh, around this faith action uh, with the African American community. So, just hold tight one minute. Um, okay. and we'll be able to answer that. Is there um, another question? Uh, we do have some questions that came in on the web. Um, another one question is, what sort of activities occur at kickoff meetings? Thanks, Matt. Um, that's a good question. Um, for kickoff, and I'm, I'm not sure um, what the writer means by kickoff, but we are recommending that folks do um, three clear activities that week of December 20th, which is a Sunday, and December 22nd, uh, which marks 100 days out. One thing that we are encouraging folks do, to do is to have a multi-ethnic, multi-cultural uh, press conference with faith leaders to talk about the Christmas story and the importance of the, of the census for underrepresented communities of color. Um, that's one type of activity that we encourage groups to do on December 22nd, and we'll be talking very shortly about how you can do that um, uh, uh, locally. So um, we'll try to answer that. If that's not what you mean uh, based on your question, please uh, re-enter uh, and clarify what you mean by kickoff um, event. Uh, Matt, let's pause here and uh, with questions. We'll take up the rest of your questions after Deborah, who is with the Atlanta Urban League, um, um, can give a brief presentation about what uh, the Atlanta Urban League is doing to encourage African American census participation, both in the month of December, but also uh, throughout the, uh, the campaign. Deborah, are you there? I'm here. Great, Deborah. The floor is yours. Okay, thanks. Um, actually, I'm I'm off site. I'm uh, attending the job creation initiative that was. Um, that was um, put in place by President Obama. So currently, I'm at Morehouse College, so I do not have access to the to the PowerPoint presentation. However, um, the Atlanta Urban League it was very fortunate to have formed a partnership with Helen Butler and the Georgia Coalition of People's Agenda. And in this partnership, the Atlanta Urban League has been able to reach organizations such as the NAACP, SCLC, Concerned Black Clergy, Black Caucus, to name a few. So we're actually have been reaching out to the faith-based organizations for quite some time. So with that said, on December the 19th, which is a little bit, a few days before the 100 Days Out, um, the Georgia Coalition of People's Agenda, as well as the Atlanta Urban League, would sponsor a conference um, targeting the African-American communities. And what we're trying to do is to increase the participation because in the past um, the African Americans have not really been very receptive to complete census forms. So this initiative that we have created is called I Matter, I Count, Count Me Black. And this response has been very positive. Um, one thing Helen and I have um, noticed that a lot of organizations that have come into the fold under the census in terms of setting up partnership, um, like the gentleman may have said earlier, that 
you know, they are a partner, but they don't know where to go from there. So we're having to try to reach out to these people and say, okay, it's good that you're a partner, but now we need to form a count, complete count committee. And that's the purpose for this conference, to give a, an increased awareness of what a complete count committee is, as well as to form, like, well, a collaboration on what can we do to dispel this fear that African Americans have had in, for a long time in terms of filling out the census. So hopefully we will have a pretty good turnout on December the 19th and the 22nd, the week of the 22nd, um, you know, that may be a slow week because so many people may be going out of town, but that's what we're trying to set up the press conference. And we do have a couple of African American churches in mind, one of which we've already made contact and we, and Helen is in the process of sending um, like a written proposal so it can be, we can get the final approval on it. But um, that's what our plans for coming up to the 22nd as well as the week of the 22nd. Great, thanks, Deborah. Um, we're going to go ahead, and we've gotten a lot of questions in the queue about what are some ways that folks can engage uh, various communities. You've heard uh, Jerry talk about what they're doing with the Latino community, Sarah with what they're planning on doing with the Asian community, and also uh, Deborah and their uh, organizing, and one of the great ideas of creating a, uh, a unique brand for the African American community to organize around in Atlanta. I will say that all three of, our, of these organizations, uh, Galeo, CPAC, and Atlanta Urban League, have committed to hosting a joint press conference on December 22nd to mark 100 days out with various faith leaders in Atlanta. This is a great one of the best ways that we can um, uh, continue to bring awareness during a relatively slow news week, very busy faith week, but very slow news week around the census and why it's important for communities to participate. Um, you'll see now in your webinar, on your, the next slide, which is entitled Creative Ways to Educate and Engage Your Community. We're highlighting three ways. One is to have your church display um, a faith poster, which we'll be showing here in a second, as well as a, a bulletin or be, ha, place a bulletin in their church bulletin that talks about the census and the connection between Christmas and the census. Now, we're, we're asking local organizations like yours to work with your um, churches that you continually work with on a daily basis and have these posters up and these bulletins inserted uh, on or before Sunday, December 20th. Second, uh, we'd love for you to also encourage um, those same churches to see if the pastor, the deacon, or other leaders of the church would mind uh, preaching from the pulpit or giving an announcement during the announcements uh, portion of the service about the census or in the upcoming census. One of the things you all can do as, uh, as local organizations is have a table at the, at the church during the, that census sermon and be able to provide folks with uh, answers to the questions they might have, hand out materials that, uh, d uh, that eases people's fears about the census, um, and also um, some fact sheets that are quick Q&As about what the census is and why it's important. We also have available sample census forms that you can show folks uh, what the census forms look like so that we ease any fears that folks might have about completing their census form. Um, and finally, uh, we've mentioned this before, but what would be a fantastic opportunity is if there are churches that are, uh, that are willing to put the posters up, that are willing to include the bulletin in their bulletins, uh, and are willing to talk about it, preach it from the pulpit or during the announcements component, compo component of the service, for you to partner with those same churches and organize a press conference in your local community for targeted ethnic media to be able to highlight so that pastors and faith leaders can say, look what we did this last Sunday and how we're continuing the move uh, for the upcoming census. 
So those are three very specific ways that you can engage your local community and work with your local churches on this upcoming week of action. Uh, now I'd like to turn it over to our colleague uh, Jenna uh, Wandrus, who is, uh, leads our creative design unit at the Leadership Conference. Um, and she's going to share with you um, exactly what we've been talking, alluding to posters, these bulletins, and these fact sheets. Jenna, the floor is yours. Thanks, Kathy. Um, so as you all have heard, we've uh, made continual references to these posters, bulletin inserts, and fact sheets, so now it's time to show them. Um, waiting for this slide to come up. The first slide you'll see um, are our census posters, and I think Jerry had um, this poster in his slide. Um, however, his was in Spanish, so now uh, if you didn't read Spanish, you can see what the poster says. Um, it's alluding to uh, Joseph and Mary's trip to Bethlehem uh, through the census. Um, we have these posters currently available in English, Spanish, Creole, Korean, Vietnamese, and Chinese. Um, and we will be able to, if you contact uh, Janelle, whose contact information will be at the end of this slide show, um, we'll be able to send you um, these posters in um, different kinds of quantities. Um, so just send us a request um, and we'll be able to get those out to you. Um, like Kathy mentioned, they'll be great for hanging up in churches. Uh, if pastors don't want to speak on the census in their sermon, um, if you can't ask them to do that, then um, most churches uh, would be willing to just hang this up um, in their lobbies. Um, next we have the bulletin inserts. Um, and essentially they just kind of explain uh, why the census is important to faith communities, um, why faith communities are kind of called to be stewards of um, their own community and how the census can help them in that mission. Um, so this bulletin insert would explain all of that. Um, right now, we only have this insert in English. However, if you're interested in this at all, we can work with you to come up with a translation for your community, um, and then hopefully we can send those out. Um, and finally, we have fact sheets that we've been speaking about. Uh, the first one is three pages. Um, it goes into depth about why the census is important um, for faith communities in particular. It includes suggested readings and language for church services. Um, and then we also have a shorter one-pager just for um, somebody who's passingly curious about why this is relevant at all to their community. Um, so just as a review, uh, this, these are the materials we have available, and when the slide comes up, you'll see Janelle's contact info. So just get in touch with her if you're interested in any of these materials. Great. Thank you, Janelle. Um, and I mean, thank you, Jenna. Sorry about that. We have a lot of J's on our staff. Um, so now, uh, Matt, if there's any other questions in the queue or on the phone, we're more than happy to answer them. So, uh, uh, Matt, if you want to open it up. Okay. Hey, once again, ladies and gentlemen, to ask a question, please press zero one on your telephone keypad, or you can type in your questions through the chat feature. And we do have a few questions on the web, and we do have a question on the phone. On the phone, we have a question from Holbert James. Please go ahead. Hi. Good afternoon, folks. And I have two questions or more or less observations. The first one has to do with the Urban League presentation. Uh, I am working with the Unity Diaspora Coalition, which is a coalition of African Americans, Caribbean Americans, and continental Africans. And I'm wondering whether uh, Helen or any of the folks actually in Atlanta uh, could speak to, because I, I know there's a very active Caribbean American Complete Count Committee uh, that's been organized in, in the Atlanta region and whether they are plugged in to the uh, uh, activity that was described. That's the first question. The second question has to do with the fact that I think, again, around sensitivity issues, that we are talking a lot about Sunday, and we here in, in the Caribbean American Complete Count Committee in South Florida, which I'm also active in, has a very large and active seven-day Adventist participation group, and obviously their Sabbath day is Saturday. As a matter of fact, the chair of our religious committee is the uh, chair of the seven-day Adventist conference for the state of Florida. So I just wanted to make that observation that uh, obviously we need to, you know, be sensitive to that issue of the seven-day Adventist and other denominations who may worship on Saturday, and also, but also was also concerned about the issue of. Uh, this, the, you know, how we're plugging into the increasing number of Caribbean Americans and continental Africans that are part of our communities. 
Thank you uh, for that question. Um, Deborah, are you on the, are you still on the line and could you address um, uh, the uh, Unity uh, 09's uh, participation in the Atlanta Urban League's um, and People's Coalition's event um, on uh, December 19th? Uh, and then I'm happy to address kind of the broader question about how Korean folks are being engaged and uh, are included in a lot of this stuff. So, Deborah? It looks like uh, Deborah is no longer with us. Oh, okay. Well, I will tell you this: that um, uh, Unity 09 has been uh, is a part of the activity that Atlanta Urban League and uh, the People's Coalition is organizing. Um, we've also the leadership conference has um, engaged Unity 09 to do to think through how we might be able to better collaborate over the next four months, and we're really looking forward uh, to working with Unity 09. I will tell you that within the Caribbean communities, we're working very hard in South Florida to make sure that the Caribbean and the Haitian communities are included in, a, in, in, in an aggressive outreach strategy. As you all know, uh, those, the Haitian population in South Florida is one of the hardest to count communities, and we're working very closely with several organizations on the ground to uh, develop a comprehensive outreach strategy for that particular population. I will tell you, as I mentioned at the beginning of this call, this space, uh, these materials and this strategy focused on Christmas is, is very narrow in scope, but that we will be doing a lot of various faith activities to various faith communities as it, is, as it fits within their faith calendar. So as we move forward in January, February, March, and April, we'll be looking for uh, mile markers for important faith celebrations of a whole host of different faith communities and in order to create the direct lines between uh, faith and the census. So thank you for that question. Uh, Matt, do we have another question? Yes, I do have a question from uh, Stacy. Let me see if I can find it here. Okay, we go. Our question is, do you have any suggestions on effective strategy and messaging for ethnic faith groups such as the Korean community? Great. That's a great question. Uh, Farah, are you still on the line? I am. Hey, Farah, do you want to address that question about what you all are doing with the Korean community? Um, again, it's, it's just really um, having active members um, from our organization who they go back to their ministers or priests and um, really speak on the behalf of why census is important, and um, they get the buy-in from, um, you know, the leaders, and then the leaders are, are, you know, they're on board and they're willing to make the um, the information known within the church. So that's that's really been what that's how we've been handling it um, with the churches. Great, thank you. And certainly the ability for us to translate this poster into Korean as well as work with CPACs and other organizations on the ground to develop culturally sensitive materials both in Korean as well as in other languages and cultures is uh, one of the, the strengths of partnering with the Leadership Conference. So we hope that those of you who are working with very specific communities of culture and cultural uh, communities of color that uh, you reach out to us so that we can work directly with you to develop the materials you all need to get the good work done. Done. Is there any other questions, Matt? Yes, we have a qu another question on the web. Actually, we have a few. Um, one of them is, if we request these materials, how soon will we, will we be able to get them in the office? Concerned with time, only 14 days left till Christmas. Yeah, that's a really great question. Uh, clearly, all of these materials are time sensitive, so if you can send in your request today, uh, we hope to be able to have them printed and processed. Um, by Tuesday um, and then out uh, chipped that very day. Um, so try and get your requests in as soon as possible and we'll get those processed. Yeah, and our hope is that we'll be able to get everybody the material they need by at the very least Thursday of next week. So, but that is really dependent on your uh, requesting uh, your set of materials in a timely manner. Thanks, Jenna. Matt, any okay. other questions? Yes, we have uh, one question. Is um one of the presenters of the CPAC, looks like, used the term kickoff meetings, and I was wondering what they did at those. And also, could you please show the slide where Janelle's contact information is available? Farah, do you want to talk about a CPAC kickoff? Um, yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, at the kickoff meeting, um, we formed subcommittees 
and then um, we really brainstormed on what are the strategies that are going to be a best fit for those communities. Um, so the Bhutanese, they formed media, faith, youth, and then um, they identified what they were going to do, what is the best way to reach, um, you know, their community. So one of them, with the media, they have a radio station, and um, so starting January, they are going to do airtime regarding census. They're going to have, like, an open forum where people can call in and voice their concerns, um, and then they're also going to have um, an essay and art competition regarding the youth. And um, so those are some of the things that they've already put in place. They have a time frame. I know that they're also working on creating a calendar with all the important dates um, for census. So, you know, um, like, you know, Census Day, when the flyers or the surveys will be mailed out, and, um, and then also they're, they're hosting census um, assistant forums within their community, so they're listing where they're going to be held in which apartment area and the time frame and who will be leading them. So those are some of the ideas and the strategies that the Bhutanese are going to be using, and it was it was from the kickoff meeting that we were able to do that. Great. Thanks, Farah. Mm -hmm. um, we, re we put up the slide with Janelle's um, contact information if you're wanting materials, but we recognize that some of you are not online. Let me read that off to you. If you want to contact Janelle for posters, bulletin inserts, and fact sheets, you can reach her at Wilkins, W I L K. I N S at civilrights dot o r g. Again, that's Janelle Wilkins at Wilkins W I L K I N S at civilrights dot o r g. Um, Matt, do we have any other questions in the queue? Yes, we do have uh, one question on the web. I don't know if you addressed this or not, but. The question is, I understand the thinking behind faith-based outreach, but there are also a large number of people who are not faith-based, as an atheist, agnostic, etc., or who practice non-traditional forms of faith. Is there outreach being targeted towards that? That's a great question, um, and the answer is yes. We definitely have an outreach strategy that uh, includes all hard-to-count communities. Um, what it includes is a really addressing folks um, where they are and tackling some of the biggest challenges that the census has to offer. So we, were developed, we have developed a series of materials focused on privacy and confidentiality to uh, reduce the fears folks might have, both within the immigrant and other communities of color, around participation in the census. We have developed posters that highlight how um, the census impacts job creation, as well as the economy, healthcare, and education. We have developed um, uh, local uh, census um, campaigns that includes bringing community-based organizations from all sectors together to talk about how we reach out to hard-to-count populations. Um, all of this information about our general campaign is available on our website, which is www civilrights.org backslash census, where you can learn about our overall strategy for census participation among hard-to-count communities. So thank you for that question. Matt, is there another? Yes, we have a question on the web. The question is, how can we access other posters, flyers, and fact sheets without any religious or faith-based connotation? Oh, great question. Again, uh, I would encourage everybody to go to our website, which is civilrights.org slash census to learn more about our campaign. And at the beginning of the year, we'll be having uh, several more types of materials available for organizations who are interested in doing census promotion um, without the faith-based lens. So again, we do have posters available in, uh, around job creation. We have a great flyer that focuses on jobs, economy, the health care and education. Um, and several fact sheets uh, about those same topics. So I encourage everybody to go to our website. Thanks, Matt. Any more questions? 
it looks like that was our last question. Well, all right, everyone. Um, I do hope that um, you all will take uh, advantage of this unique opportunity that the Christian holiday of Christmas presents itself by linking the story of Joseph and Mary's uh, trip to Bethlehem um, to participate in the census and the Christmas holiday with our, with our census campaign. We think it's a great way to, again, continue the drumbeat of, uh, of the upcoming census and begin to engage communities that otherwise don't think of census as being an important issue for them. So I hope that you all uh, can walk away with some uh, great things to do. Our staff, as always, is available and willing and able to help you all out in any way we can. So I encourage you to visit our website, to email grassroots at civilrights.org if you have any questions, um, to contact Janelle for access to these faith materials, and most importantly, to keep your eyes open for our next webinar or conference call that will undoubtedly be in January around the MLK holiday. Um, so if you all have, and, and we'll, the other, will, will we send out all this information to the folks who are on this call, Whitney? Yes, we will be sending this information out via um, email, the email address that you provided when you registered for this webinar. We will send you the information discussed in the webinar as well. Great. So we hope that you all take advantage of these uh, posters and this other, these other opportunities. We thank everyone for taking the time out of their Friday to participate on this call. And we look forward to working with all of you over the next four months to ensure a more complete and accurate count of uh, hard-to-count communities in this upcoming census. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Matt. We'll sign off now. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This conference is concluded.